Hello friends, welcome once again to You Can Write a Song. My name is John Lomakang. Thank you for taking the time to tune in again. And this program is an exciting one because you may have heard about rhyme, like Mary had a little lamb and the list goes on and on. Rhythm is so much a part of life. If your heart is ever out of rhythm, it's arrhythmia. Everything in our planet, in our cycle of sun going up and sun going down, is all based on rhythm. And the person that is going to be a part of our program today, the main focus, our guest, is none other than Lanny Wolf, and I can't think of anybody else that knows about rhythm in the way that you have over the years. Thank you for coming. Thank you, John. It's what are we going to learn here. today? We're going to learn so many different rhyme schemes okay. and how to use them and the importance of rhyme and rhyme scheme. Uh, I'm astonished that one of my students, a uh, worship pastor, did a project, mm -hmm. great singer, and when he came to me to start taking song, he had no concept of rhyme. Hmm. I, I was shocked to think that here's an adult who made a project that was a good project mm -hmm. and wrote the songs, had no concept of rhyme. So it's amazing how many people don't really understand rhyme. They're going to learn about it today. Well, sit back, friends, and hit the record button right now because when this program is over, you will think rhyme in the proper way, and then you will be able to write a song. It's going to be an exciting program. Hit the record button right now. I would like to talk about a very important aspect of songwriting, rhyme and what I call rhyme time. In a previous session, I talked about the AAAA prime chorus format in which the first three lines are all the same and the fourth is an extension or completion of the thought of the first three lines, as in, greater is he that is in me, greater is he that is in me, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Today, I would like to discuss other formulas for both verses and choruses of a song with respect to rhyme. Rhyme is a repetition of similar sounds of two or more words, most often used for effect in the final positions of lines or poems and songs. For example, day, hey, lay, may, play, say, tray, way, etc. If the first word is one syllable, the ideal rhyme for the second would also be one syllable. However, the second word could have more syllables than the first, as in the first word day, and the second word obey. Also, the second or rhyming word doesn't have to be spelled the same way as the first word, just sound the same. For example, go, G-O, show, S-H-O-W, toe, T-O-E, same sound, different spelling. From the time all of us were small children, we were introduced to the idea of rhyme in the form of nursery rhymes. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. The itsy bitsy spider crawled up the water spout, down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again, taking you back to elementary school. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So nursery rhymes were our first introduction to poetry. They helped us master new language because they present a vocabulary in a format that caught our attention and helped us to remember and use tunes and repetition and rhythm and actions. Rhyme and nursery rhymes gives a child the sense of anticipating the sound of the end of a line to come based on the end of a preceding line. Just as rhyme gives nursery rhyme structure, it helps to give a song structure and helps to divide the song into sections, which usually makes it easier for the listener to not only digest the entire song, but easier to remember the song broken down into sections or verses, chorus, bridge, etc. 
in my early songwriting career, I used to carry around a rhyming dictionary to save me all the trouble from going through the alphabet in my mind. R, bar, car, dar, far, har, lar, mar, nar, bar, star. But now, with the internet access, I go to rhyme zone, R H Y M E Z O N E dot com. You simply put in a word that you want to find rhymes to. It will give you one syllable words. It will give you two syllable words, three syllable rhymes. It will also give you fake rhymes. A fake rhyme is formed by words with a similar but not identical sound. Fake rhymes are sometimes called, here we go, loose rhymes, near rhymes, half rhymes, lazy rhymes, slant rhymes, false rhymes, imperfect rhymes, partial rhymes, oblique rhymes, and off rhymes. They're all fake. Okay? Uh, an example of fake rhyme is found in the verse of I Feel Good, where the word book, B-O-O-K, is rhyming with the word good, G-O-O-D. Now I'm on my way to heaven and I'm singing as I go. I'm so glad my name is written in the book. Just to know his blood has cleansed me and I'm ready now to go makes me want to shout, hallelujah, I feel good. There's a growing trend to use more and more fake rhymes rather than strict rhymes nowadays. This makes it easier for the writer to be able to have a lot more choices to choose from in ending a certain line of a verse or chorus and giving the essence of sounding close to the word they're trying to rhyme with, but not to be hostage to a strict rhyme. My writing style has always been to strive to use strict rhyme, sometimes called exact or rigid rhyme. Structure or form of a verse or chorus is always dictated by the rhyme scheme. Before I talk about some examples of some common rhyme scheme forms, let me talk about writing a song with no rhyme scheme, sometimes called through composed. No rhyme scheme would indicate that none of the end phrases rhyme. It can be tricky to pull off successfully in instances where the no rhyme scheme techniques is used. There must be more focus placed on the rhythm and the flow of the lyrics. This no rhyme scheme format often works best with some, some well-known writing such as the Lord's Prayer or John 3.16, which are familiar and sacred in their original form. To even out the length of the lines, I incorporated repetition as in should not perish, should not perish, and they shall have, they shall have. The most popular rhyme scheme form is probably A, 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 where all the ends of every line rhyme. Now don't confuse this rhyme scheme, A, 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 with that easy chorus rhyme scheme uh, format that we talked about earlier, which was A, 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 A prime, where it refers to all the line being the same. Now we're talking about just the last word of the line rhyming. An example of this would be illustrated by this song, Surely the Presence. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. I can hear the brush of angels' wings. 
I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. The end of each one of those lines rhymed. Fresh Touch of Desire also illustrates the A, 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 A rhyme scheme. There's a fresh, fresh touch of desire in my soul today. There's a fresh, fresh touch of desire to go the way I've made up in my Though the A-A-A-A rhyme scheme is a great writing technique, you want to be cautious of your rhyme sounding too forced or contrived. For example, to rhyme with scent, you choose to end the next line with, to the store I went. In conversation, you would say, I went to the store, and you would not say, to the store I went. So we have a second rhyme scheme, which is, a, A, B, B. Lines one and two rhyme, while lines three and four share a different rhyme. Favorite Lanny Wolf song, Jesus Be the Lord of All, illustrates this rhyme scheme. In my heart are kingdoms of a world that's all my own. Kingdoms that of graders he also illustrates the a a b b rhyme scheme Satan's like a roaring You may have heard of this little song that God gave me that illustrates the rhyme scheme A-A-B-B. -B. It's called More Than Wonderful. He promised us that he would be a counselor, a mighty God and a prince of peace. He promised us that he And I found his promises are true He's everything he said that he would be The finest words I know could not begin to tell Just how much Jesus really means to me I want to talk about rhyme scheme number three, which is a, B, A, B. So now, in a four-line verse, lines one and three share a rhyme, and lines two and four share a different rhyme. The chorus of A Brand New Touch illustrates that. Lord, you know I need a brand new touch. My strength from yesterday is gone. 
But if you'll give me, Lord, another touch I'll have the strength to carry on That's A, B, A, B. The verses of I Feel Good also use the A, B, A, B rhyme scheme. So rhyme scheme number three is a very popular one. A uh, rhyme scheme number four is A, B, C, B. So this means that lines one and three, they don't rhyme, but lines two and four do rhyme. I love the I feel good verse of uh, Have a Nice Day with Jesus, which incorporates this rhyme scheme. You can wake up every morning with a smile upon your face Just to know the Lord has kept you one more day And no matter what the day may bring You can face it with a smile For the Lord will walk beside you all the way So that rhyme scheme was A, B, C, B And the ends of the lines were face Day, smile, way. Just as you can't change horses in the middle of the stream, you can't change rhyme schemes in the middle of a song. Every verse has to maintain the same rhyme scheme. In verse 2 of Have a Nice Day, the ends of the lines are all right, day, storm, and say. Anyone can sing when the sun is shining and everything seems to be all right. But it's a different story when you're talking about a rainy day. Just let the Lord be your umbrella and he'll take you through the storm. Give the world a smile and let them hear you say. So the rhyme scheme for verse 2 was consistent with the rhyme scheme of verse 1. Also, even though the rhyme scheme for the verses of a song can be the same as the chorus... Most often they are different. The same rhyme scheme for both verses and chorus can sometimes feel too sing-songy or get too monotonous. A different rhyme scheme sometimes helps to give contrast. And now, one of my personal favorite rhyme schemes, rhyme scheme number five, is AA, what I call internal rhyme B on the third line, followed by A. So we have lines one, two, and four, that rhyme, but line three has two phrases that rhyme internally within line three. Even from the start of my songwriting career at 18, I wrote, only Jesus can satisfy your soul that uses this favorite rhyme scheme. Using internal rhyme, line three, you don't always have to have lines one, two, and four be the exact same line, but it works well when they are, as in the chorus of God's Wonderful People. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. What a sight just to see all the happy faces Praising God in heavenly places Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people Notice lines 1, 2, and 4 
are exactly the same. And line three has that internal rhyme with those two phrases. And in the same vein, I keep falling in love with him is pattern A, A, internal rhyme, line three, and line four, A. I keep falling in love with him. I guess you could say I keep falling in love with it over and over and over again. The it being rhyme scheme number five, A, A, internal rhyme B, A. It shows up again in one of my favorite songs that God has given me, Jesus, We Crown You With Praise. That was Brooklyn Tabernacle singing that cut of that wonderful song. Uh, Have a Nice Day with Jesus uses the same rhyme scheme technique, but notice the length of the two phrases in line three don't have to be the same length as one, two, and four, as long as both of them in line three are approximately the same length and, or the same number of syllables. It works. Have a nice day with Jesus. Have a nice day. Have a nice day with Jesus, have a nice day. You may wish the sun would shine a little bit brighter, but when you've got the Lord, it'll make your load a lot lighter. So have a nice day with Jesus, have a nice day. Let me call your attention to the chorus of the song Someone is Praying for You. Again, it's A, A, internal rhyme B, uh, A, or is it? Someone is praying for you. Someone is praying for you. So when it seems you're all alone and your heart would break in two. Remember someone is praying for you. I call that to your attention because it feels like it's internal rhyme B on the third line. Uh, as in, so when it seems you're all alone and your heart would break in two, but those are not rhyme with each other. As a consideration, let's say, if I wanted line three to be an official internal line rhyme, B, I could have written line three. So when you're feeling sad and blue, like your heart would break in two, then we would have ended up with the following ends of the lines. You, you, blue, two, you. And this is too much. It's overkill of rhyme. Too much rhyme for short lines like this course. An exception. Although I'm a stickler for strict rhyme, let's look at the chorus of the song, My House is Full, but My Field is Empty. Uh, the words are, My house is full, but my field is empty. Who will go and work for me today? It seems my children all want to stay around my table, but no one wants to work in my field. Repeat last line, no one wants to work in my field. Well, this was such a powerful song when I felt God was giving it to me. It wasn't until a few years after I had written it 
that a student in one of my songwriting classes asked me if I was aware that there was no rhyme scheme in these lyrics. The last line is simply repeated. I was shocked because I never really even thought about it because the words in the chorus were so anointed and given by the Lord that I basically wrote down what he was speaking to me without filtering them through any rhyme scheme. Consideration. The bottom line is, you don't tell God he has to follow any of our songwriting rules. Remember, because most songs are written with some rhyme scheme format, you run the best chance for your song to be successful if you do likewise. Your assignment for this session is to write a, a chorus using the A, A, internal rhyme B, rhyme scheme. Now, uh, if you'll just think back the following examples that I've given you, I keep falling in love with him, and I love the thrill that I feel with God's wonderful people. Jesus, we crown you with praise. I think it will be easy for you to get your pencil out and start putting some lines on paper. Lines one, two, and four can be the same. Line three has to have two phrases, and they both have to rhyme. Get your pen out and start writing. Oh, friends, I know that you were blessed by this program. You were not only informed, but I hope you were transformed because I now know that rhyme is not the same to you. We talked about rhyme and structure, rhyme and repetition, rhyme and song format, rhyme schemes, rhyme variations, internal rhyme, exceptions to rhyme, and my favorite, fake rhyme. Well, if you want to be an aspiring songwriter whose songs are remembered for many, many years to come, and even unlock the potential in somebody's mind to be humming your songs or thinking about the next song you're going to write, this is the program that you were blessed by. Lanny Wolf gave you an assignment, and Lanny, this was an amazing program. Thank you, John. I mean, to think about rhyme in the way you have, how did you come up with that ideology? Uh, as a songwriter, if you don't have rhyme, you might as well change occupations. <laughs> but it's amazing to me, you know, how many uh, folks who are songwriters really have no concept of rhyme. Mm -hmm. So this is an awakening mm -hmm. uh, and uh, an integral part of making a song what it really needs to be, mm -hmm. to be memorable. That's right, that's right. And so friends, get your pens and your papers out and hit that record button for the next program. But remember, you can write a song now and you could make it rhyme. So instead of just ending with Mary Had a Little Lamb, make your first song a tremendous hit when you involve rhyme time. Remember, you can write a song. <laughs>